Okay, we need to be careful that we don't lose all of our tanks in this crazy assault. Uh, do we have any... Those are just regular Mavericks. Okay, we're doing fine. We're doing fine. Uh, maybe we're losing a little bit a lot. Well, we're destroying them pretty decently. And like I said, I can repair these guys, but I need to destroy these tanks before it's too late. This is a decent battle here. I mean, we're just... We have so, so much so overpowered compared to these guys. It's not even funny anymore. Alright, howdy boyos. Welcome back to more Wargame Red Dragon with the Ash and Shadows mod. We are in a, I think, decent position here where we have just captured Shirwan, which now allows us access to the final territory we need to capture before we win this campaign. We just have to deal with this um, random, you know, tank unit driving up into Seoul, but as you can see, we have that pretty well covered, I think. So what's going to happen is we're going to um, annihilate this tank unit. We'll push everyone up into Shirwan, and then we'll push everyone up into Sokcho. So we're going to be another turn or two. I guess I should actually assign these uh, jets now I'm here. Uh, just to keep them uh, from having to fly back to the carrier every time. Because um, I'm not really at a risk of losing this uh, airport anymore. Now, the thing is that here in Yongjok, we have uh, a different battle going on here in the south of Korea. Where we're definitely able to defeat these guys out here. But I, I personally really hate this map. Also, I retreated from Daegu and Yuchang to heal... So what I'm thinking is I'm going to pull everyone out of Yongjok on uh, their next attack. That way, uh, I can actually spend some of these points, get my final units that I want here in Busan, and then we can hold against both the units here in Jiosheng and the units here in Yongjok. Besides, it'll also make a nice sort of final stand uh, battle idea here. Actually, let's r, &R these tanks. And then I think, uh, yeah, we're going to not really do much. We're going to let them attack us. Then we'll fall back to Busan, get those extra points. And then here, I guess we could, we should be the ones who actually engage this tank unit. Mostly if we can actually fly in. I guess they have some anti-air units. We don't even have to worry about flying in. We can just send all of our armor. I think... Well, I don't know if we have good armor now, because I think our Abrams are in the next zone over. So, I, I really would love to cut right into the flank over here and stop them from calling in reinforcements. We're going to set up our units, and we'll be right back, and we'll show you what I've done. Alright, it's a little bit of a uh, make-do battle, mostly because I didn't move the Abrams and one of the other Marine units away. So instead of having eight SDRBs, I believe we only have two. We have a couple of these monitors. We have uh, a couple of M60s. My idea is to get those boats up here ASAP to help cover. Um, actually, I could probably remove these LVTPs now after, in hindsight. I had a CV here, but it didn't really make sense to me. I have a CV here for the plus six. I have a CV here for the naval and air column. I have a CV here for the land and air column. And my idea is to kind of just lock the bridges down. And then this will not be too much of an issue. I've got a command shoot a spot for me. We're going to have to deal with their little bit of AA. I just want to make sure that we, I guess, do we have a good, I guess we'll set a, get a squad of small here. And we'll figure with those guys out in just a second. Go very slow. Okay, Comanche's engaging. Get these guys moving. LVTPs go back for safety reasons. Okay. Oh, okay. We're already dealing with their uh, with their AA. It looks like in a very nice way. Found their FOB. Okay. So he's no we knocked out some of their T80 UNKs, which are, by the way, their best by far, their best units they can get. Uh, we also want to get this to fly to the FOB. Oh, here, look at that. SDRBs with their 16 Hellfires. And we have these LCMs, which are going to drop off another eight tanks. Now, these T80 UNKs are pretty good, so they're not going to be easy pickings for me whatsoever. Um, are these guys in the buildings? Yes, they are. Okay, I guess we'll get to land. Come out of the recon helicopter. SDRBs. There's only 16 of those T80Us, I'm pretty sure. Okay, there's a CV going up over here. 
Might be worth sending a recon LAV this way. Oh, what the hell? What just killed me? Okay, what's the deal? It just, it gave me, it, it showed me a, the date, that, what? It showed me a plus 30. But I thought, oh, they're hurting me pretty bad. I don't know if I can. So it did, did they actually get team killed there? Because that's almost what it made me think of the plus, like the blue plus 30 only happens when you team kill, right? Now I'm really confused. Anyway, let's get these guys out of here. So those STRBs got kind of destroyed. A little sad. We'll push our infantry up here now since we can. Since these T-80s have pushed up quite a bit. Get ourselves a logistics truck. Oh, actually, it's going to be way too far away. The RM60s are going to get destroyed here. That's okay. We'll get our scout to drive down this road to kill that CV they had here. Where our M60s, brave heroes of America, probably not feeling so good right now, however. Marines, push up some more. Come on, come on. The goal of these M60s was to distract the T-80s long enough so I could get close enough, and now I can just destroy them with my... Yeah, there you go. Okay, engage the Shilka. Lost a live East scout. Oh, there's more. Okay, that's fine. It just sucks that our SDRB kind of just got destroyed in a very uh, sad way, but, you know, that happens, I guess. Why is there an M60 stuck back here? That's not good. Can you, like, okay. Well, we can just reverse you, I guess. I don't know where the other guy. Oh, okay. He's all the way over there. Okay, done. Get these guys line up over here. Comanche, you're good to go. LVTPs definitely don't want to waste those. Okay, well, we're just bombarding the Shilkas. T80U's behind us here. Get some recon. LEV in that forest, a spot. Monitors keep in, mo monitors, monitors keep engaging. Okay, here comes the. Oh, they they have the good. They have those AA missiles. I forgot. Oh God. Oh God. That's why they're so good. God damn it. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Getting some more Marines. We're gonna use those to push the town here while these marines hopefully are able to hold the line um lcu in the river here okay this tad is at least getting destroyed a little bit better these comanches have some really good at gems oh, did they carry the same oh they do carry the same missiles okay perfect awesome okay hold fire i did lose a bunch of my units there just now See what my smock could flank these T-80s. There's still six of them back there. It's pretty nuts, actually. Hope these guys forward a little bit. I guess we can just move these guys forward. It would have been great to keep one of the FOB units here with the helicopters or something, but we're just going to have to do it live. Uh, did this Firehawk use a missile? Yes, it did. Okay, there's, uh, there's the Strilla. This is basically all their AA right here, I'm pretty sure. What did this thing get hit by? I'm so... Oh, what the hell? I don't know why that just looked like it was hit by something. No, 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 no. Stop wasting your... There we go. Good, good, good. Hit the, hit the vehicles that are AA. Oh, they, they got the scout. God dang it. Push this LAV further in. Firehawks are getting some missiles off these Shilkas. Okay, stop. Okay. I need to stop having them waste. I need to go back and turn this off for now. I guess it was something that I really thought made sense to shoot trucks, but now they're wasting their bullets and actually actively trying to kill um, supplies like fobs. That's bad. Can we get this? Uh, Alright. Fair enough. Can we get I don't know why it looks... Okay, that's weird. That's a bug, I think. Alright, infantry. Let's roll. Okay, try and shoot the cargo trucks if we can. Because uh, they're about to escape 
and repair the enemy vehicles. Okay, these guys keep pushing up. Spot up their CV. Shilka. Small M60s are pushing up. And that's where we can capture this fob, to be honest. There's our CV. Okay. Loss of life here is kind of maybe a little bit over the top, but we can... I want to destroy this formation with these T-80s because they're actually a little more scared than I thought. <clears throat> They're definitely a little more scared than I thought they... Oh, they just surrendered? Please be destroyed. No, you shouldn't have retreated. Because that means i got to fight another day. That's so frustrating. Oh, man. Okay, what happened to the other STRB? It just blew up. Did it? Did the rocket, like, hit the bottom of the bridge or something? Okay, that's really frustrating because I can't... I can't hunt these guys down in their territory... But they are still going to be enough of a problem where I'm going to have going to going to have to <laughs> going to have to leave some units behind. Little frustrating. Was hoping I could get them in one battle. Now we're gonna end the turn. Young Jok. Maybe they'll attack us. <clears throat> maybe they won't. It's not really a huge um, a huge issue. Um, this is the okay. They're next next to Busan. Maybe they'll attack me and Young Juk. We can't really fight it because we have to avoid the battle, so we're getting everyone back. And then that is okay because they cannot attack us again. We can, however, uh, get our attack helicopter unit, which has these Apache Guardians with Hellfires. And then I think we could either get this anti tank company, which does have really good tow units. Or I think uh, we do have actually no we do have we do have enough good planes because we could get some of these silent uh, eagles which are very good anti-air, but I think we have good enough anti-air so we can rely on this anti-tank company, and we can even spend five points on the another fob unit. So there we go. So we're gonna have to fight the battle for Busan. I want to fight it before all these units come in, all their reinforcements come in. Um, so we're gonna fight it. Fight, fight it. I don't know why I can't pronounce it much that well. We're definitely going to fight it. Uh, but first, this battle for Seoul. And it's kind of annoying. Like I said, there, there's really nothing left. It's six tanks, and they're wasting my time. But they want to fight, so we're going to have to give them another turn. It's a very smart way for the AI to, to, to piss me off and get some extra uh, you know, time to, uh, to repair and stuff in their final sector. But with that being said, we're going to set up our unit forces real quick, and it will be right back. All right, super, super basic. I just set up a lot of infantry because I can't really rely on armor. So we're going to disembark LVTP. Get you out of here. LVTPs. Get you back there. We did lose one LVTP. That's fine. Now these T-80s are getting destroyed. It's already half of their units. And then these Comanches need to go in and land. Okay, perfect. I don't know if they have any AA left, but that T-80 is about to be toast. Perfect job. It's nice that they carry six missiles now instead of just four. It's a really big upgrade, honestly. We lost one LVTP. That's okay. We'll push forward. And I guess we might even very fast this one because there's just literally nothing for me to really do other than just hold the line and wait for them to come at me, which could be a while. So, oh, that was a good unit to spot. Uh, Comanche, ready, three... Whichever one gets gun gets ready first, I need to push them up and spot that. I think that might have been a CV. And then if we kill that last CV, then it's really not an issue. So we're ready. Uh, looks like they captured this, so it might, it might not have been a CV. Or if it was a CV, then I don't know. Oh, it was a CV. Okay. Well, let's see who gets it first. I'm assuming no Super Hornet's going to kill it first. Yes, perfect job. Okay, Comanche, and other Comanche corner there, and then we'll just push up, maybe even capture a fob, look at that, that's a CV. Uh, is it? I think it is. Air, uh, Super Hornet, kill, and that is a, a very interesting battle, uh, you know, like I said, that was very basic. Okay, fire again, and hey, wow, I'm glad, I'm really glad we waited an entire turn for that, but at least the T-80s are gone. Uh, we only lost one LVTP because of that, but we just lost a lot of momentum because it means turn seven, we have to wait, turn eight, and then we're there. So a little bit annoying, can't really do much about that, 
Battle for Busan. This is going to be an easy battle because we have the advantage definitely on our side in, in terms of everything. Uh, I guess, do we have any seed aircraft here? I don't know if I do. Do I have any seed? Radar. No. Infrared. These are not. Definitely not. And you have just JDAM. So I don't know if I have any seed. I don't think I can get any seed here. So that's the only thing here I have to worry about their um, <clears throat> their four Pongees. So we are, can't really let our air support do all of the talking. Also, they do have eight Strela and eight Shilka. A um, bunch of artillery. But their tanks are heavily outclassed by all of our uh, K1s, K2s, uh, K2 PIP, and K1A2. So this is going to be just a joke. We can line up and just destroy their stuff. Uh, we can even push their point, really. I don't think that I really have to worry about anything. I mean, these tanks... I might just push... I might just make a conga line for their for their area and see what happens. So we're going to set up our stuff and then we'll be right back. All right, we have a little bit of a weird defense set up, but I'm thinking it might just work. So we're going to get everyone to disembark, get all of these vehicles to flee off into the mountains. I'm still not 100% sure the way that that works. I'm not sure if you can get uh, guys back that uh, that ex that explode. Like, you know, let's say you lose the, 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 the vehicle. Um, that an infantry unit comes in to transport. I'm still not sure if you get the units back. Um, a little note, look at this. <laughs> uh, basically, we can buy one tank every second. Like, this is great. That is honestly just insane. I think what we're going to do, we're going to get a couple of these Beyond Gays, because we can get, like, literally a load of them. Uh, I get, we'll get two of these KFC 16s, as I like to call them. And uh, we'll get ready to start knocking out some stuff. I could kind of risk one of these KFC 16s. Okay, that's what I was kind of afraid of. Get out of there. That's what I was... Okay. Okay. They're not messing around. Those Pyongye or Pongays, um, uh, what, whatever they're called, those things do not mess around. So now we know. <laughs> now we know that... They don't mess around at all, uh, but that's okay because what we can do is we can call in um, armor to come over here since we have so much, uh, so many points that we're getting every time. I don't know what this is, but let's bomb it. There we go. That's a very, very smart way of using that, I think. Okay, good. Okay, bomb the Shilka. I wonder if he can get out without the Pionge. Yeah, yeah, there we go. He can get out before the... Oh, can he, 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 can he? Nice. Oh, and we knocked out two of their uh, AA with that. Okay, well, we'll just keep bombing. And make them waste their missiles on us. And those Pionge's are... I like how they're laser-guided, so they just follow. Oh, that was a little closer. Okay. Keep going. Okay, that's... No, 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 no. Get out, get out, get out. We're taking some huge risks here, but I think it'll be interesting and worth it in the long run. Uh, we're getting a bunch of these K2s, like I said, to go forward here. And I guess we got to like, get a Leclerc recon tank up here, too. I don't even know what we killed. What did we kill? Oh! What? What? <laughs> Why don't one of these Pongays come all the way over here? I mean, I'm okay with it. I just think it's a little weird. So now we need to spot this ridge, make sure it's clear. Wow. Okay, they really are a little bit interesting and stupid. So we'll knock out two of their radar AA. There we go. I guess actually the K2 did it before the bomb even got there, which is very interesting. Oh, another missile. Ooh. I don't know why he said Bliat. There's two of those guys left. I kind of... Okay, what we could do is go into these Peace Bridges. It'll be a sacrificial lamb. We'll wait for one of my Biongay units to be ready, or maybe two or three of them. Then we'll call in the Peace Bridge, make sure we know exactly where it's shooting from, and then we can kill the other two they have left. In the meantime, our K2s are just getting ready to... Is it into a good position here to get eyes on everything? 
Push them up even a little bit more. Perfect. I mean, we're gonna knock these guys out of, or off the map here. I mean, this is, oh, wait, wait a second. You were not supposed to be there. How did he get there? Did he just like drive through? Do not want to lose this KFC 16. We did mark the ping. I think that's pretty accurate. So we've got to wait for some more Beyond Gaze to be ready. In the meantime, I guess what we should do is get a, a Fiat here and a Fiat there and a Fiat here. And uh, I guess even, I don't know. I'm not really sure how the hell they got there, but they did. Okay, so we do have a bunch of tanks coming up right next to us. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. That's bad. They're shooting my... God damn it. Okay, so they're, they're trying to flank me over here now, I think. Can we get some K2, K, K2s to cover this flank? I mean, we're getting so many points. It's not even, it's just ridiculous. We're getting heavily artillery, though. Okay, let's remark this attack marker, just in case it's accurate. Uh, I don't know what just shot at me. Something just, someone just got shot. I mean, these tanks are just down the ridge for me. Oh, it might, be, it might have been the artillery. <coughs> it might have been the artillery, like, hit, attempting to hit me. Which one's better to kill? Okay. Missiles away. Did we bait these guys out? No, we did not. Actually, we could get a Beyond Gay and just get rid of this guy. Beyond Gay. Ready, ready, ready. Boom. Okay, now, oh, there's stuff on their way, though. That's not good. We gotta get this Beyond Gate to the drop. Oh, that's not good. I think those missiles might be good. Oh, we only got one of them. Okay, well, we're knocking out these Chan Mahos. And they're not, they're not even able to do anything to us, which is awesome. So what I'm considering here is just a fast move after we knock out the... Actually, we'll just fast move right now. I think these K2s can deal with them. There we go. We can just shoot these guys on the move. Okay, well... I mean, I, I lost one tank, and then we killed all of theirs, so... Oh, that's not good. We gotta stop these other tanks, though. Maybe Q-moving is the way to go here. <laughs> there we go. Alright, we'll keep Q-moving them up. And in the meantime... We'll get some more K2 PIPs up here. Okay, we need to be careful that we don't lose all of our tanks in this crazy assault. Uh, do we have any... Those are just regular Mavericks. Okay, we're doing fine. We're doing fine. Uh, maybe we're losing a little bit a lot. Well, we're destroying them pretty decently. And like I said, I can repair these guys, but I need to destroy these tanks before it's too late. This is a decent battle here. I mean, we're just, we have so, so much so overpowered compared to these guys. It's not even funny anymore. We've got a Chinook to land back there. We'll retreat these guys off the ridge, get them healed up. Get another Chinook to come fix these guys up. And then uh, they should have targets. Yeah, these guys are very accurate even on the move. Like, what is their stable? Oh, that's another kill though. They've killed a, a couple of my tanks, but we've just been destroying theirs. I think we lost maybe three, four. Here's one. Uh, and then we think we lost another one here. That's two. And then I think we lost one more. Yeah, three. So we lost three tanks. It's not great, but it's definitely not horrible compared to A, how many we have. Okay, this is kind of ridiculous. I don't know how this recon... Or the CV keeps, like, pushing through this little area here. But we're going to Q-move, make sure he doesn't do that. Although, I'm thinking, I think he's right here, unless we kill them. K2 Pip. There he is. Did he just drive right past me? K2 Pip, it's going to have a... Uh, ooh... Gotta be a little careful here. Let's get a let's get a truck to drive over there. 
with supplies. Repairing all these units here. Oh, that was not that bad at all. But that would be a lot more costly. Okay. Q moved them up. We did destroy that CV, I think. He did not use a single round, so did somebody else? Where is that CV? He's somewhere over here. Recon. OH6. Might as well have one in the back here. I'm very confused. Oh, it's in the mud now, too. Great. I'm just very confused. What are they hitting? Why are they hitting my... Oh, they're just hitting random units back here now. Okay, that's a little annoying, because uh, I don't want them to destroy my units. Um, I think I'm good to gamble here. He's sending two Pyongay, two beyond gays. And the fact that they haven't targeted me yet is very... Oh, they're, they're targeting me now. Oh, crap. But I think we, we think we killed it. The double bombing. Nice. Okay. Kind of a waste, but we had to get rid of... Uh... Oh, come on. So we know there's some units in this forest right here. So we'll target those with the Q move. But we did, importantly enough, destroy all of their radar-guided AA, which I don't have a hard counter for other than, well, using tanks or... Oh, here's a... Oh, my God. Oh, no, buddies. This is so sad. Oh, no. This is so sad. Hey. Okay. Perfect job. Okay, that was great. Just absolutely destroyed... Uh, <laughs> destroyed those guys back there. Okay, move back into the zone. We're fine. I know you're on fire. We're good. No, we got some more. That, I don't know what that was. What is that? Oh, they're the recon tanks. They're like the Type 63s, I think. Okay, let's keep pushing into this zone. I think it'd still be really great if we could just absolutely destroy their armor. Uh unit here before they cause too many issues for me down the line. Let's fly a cheap plane, Peace Pheasant. Over here. There goes their recon. Okay, keep moving up. I don't know why I haven't captured these cargo trucks yet, so that doesn't imply to me that there's something going on here. Right here. And right there. I don't know why I didn't mark it. What? Oh, okay. Well, that's a little frustrating. Normally when you do F1... Oh. Am I too used to see the vision? I might be. We're gonna have to try and spot... There they are. Perfect. Like, I knew they were somewhere. To know where they were. Uh, get these guys back. Get some free... Equipment. Q moves. We killed those Shilka, but there's still some Strela down here, clearly based on the AA. There's a ton of artillery, but I'm thinking they're going to be a little scared now we're rolling up in this uh, in this B. Look at our points, by the way. That's a stupid. Oh, what's that? Is it a CV? Oh, that was a that might be a CV. Yeah, that is a CV, and that's gonna be dead and that's gonna be a kill and I hope nice so we did lose uh, a K if we did lose okay we did lose th four jets a little stupid but can't do much <laughs> about that uh, you know it's perfectly fine we destroyed their attack they only have this artillery unit left which means they can actually come back into Seoul um, uh, to to join these other units as long as there's a CV, but I think there's only I think the only CVs left are this MI2D and this Chonmaho with the couple of recon tanks. So I mean this could be a nice final battle here. Uh, we are going to end a turn and then hopefully this infantry regiment doesn't come back. I don't think it really can. There's no like fighting units so. I guess we'll do, we'll push everyone up. Yep, we don't have time to resupply y'all. We just don't have time to do that. And then I guess what we could do is we could push some people over. 
Might not be a horrible idea. So we'll push everyone that can into this zone. Which is mostly the planes and some of the marines, some of the tanks. And then the second one, guys, these second ones will just be a reinforcement. Also making sure that these guys don't f run back in here because they can't technically still capture. So I, I would be like forced to leave a unit in the back there. And guess what? <clears throat> we can call in all of our reinforcements here. So Busan, take a look at that. It's going to be a nice... Oh, they're coming in. Okay, I don't know how that works. So that's a little frustrating. How does that work? Don't I have... Hmm... Okay, so that's a little scary. The main point here being is that I don't have any call-in zones. Um, I am only going to have 1,775 points at the start, so will they. What will have to happen, or what will happen, is I will have to spawn in Charlie and rush for Yongjok or Daegu or Alpha. And just spawn an echo and rush for alpha or dig your yusheng so i get to call in points and then i think what makes sense is to go for alpha so we'll probably spawn a bunch of units here on this road and a bunch of units here in the corner because there is a river here so it'd be hard to cross that but we can set up in these factory buildings here from echo and we can drive into alpha secure it and then we only have to worry about this zone uh i guess this bridge technically speaking or this bridge but Preferably this bridge, because this is where my reinforcements come in. Uh, this bridge, this bridge, don't think they're going to take this bridge, or even this bridge, really. But these two bridges, um, the river here, and this road, and we can defend that very well. So this will be a nice little battle, mostly because we have just a superiority in everything. Um, and their stuff is just kind of garbage. Do you even have any aircraft? I just see a bunch of helicopters, which is interesting. I guess their planes didn't even come along. They're all back here. And uh, the Battle of Sokcho... We could potentially do it, considering we take a look here. So what is in what is scary? They have a bunch of Chamaho 90s, but that's okay because they're the same as my M60s. It's just that well, my M60s are about half of theirs. A couple sniper units, a couple recon helicopters, Type 63. These ATSs are a little scary because they have those cornets in them. A couple more MD 5000s, a couple planes. I could technically try and force my hand on this one and and just force my way into the point. And I mean, hey, worst case scenario, we don't get a complete win in the first battle. We have our reinforcements come in. But I think that's going to have to be a, a part for a future video. It doesn't even look like they have any... They don't. They have no AA. The only AA they have is on these A5Is, which is a very, very bad rocket or missile. Uh, these guys have no AA. So and then I guess they have four Strela, and that's it. So, yeah, they have four Strela and f six jets with very horrible AA missiles. This is going to be a massacre. What we'll probably end up doing, though, for the fun of it, is we'll probably fight Busan first, and then we'll fight Sokcho, because if we do win in Sokcho, it's a game over the campaign. So there's already a chance that next episode is the final episode in this first campaign, but there are a ton more campaigns to do. So don't worry about that. There'll be enough Wargamer Dragon in the future for now. I hope you enjoyed, and I'd love to see you in the next one. Cheers.